So this is a DLC character, Ray, from Mighty Number no. 9. She is just pretty much literally zero. She her, her skill is this three-point slash thing, which does each slash does double damage. And I think the final hit actually counts as two hits. If you hit them with reg the regular hit and the wave, it leaves her briefly vulnerable. And um, the main downside for Ray is she's got this cell decay skill, which um, costs negative 400 customization points. So basically, if you have it equipped, you get more customization points to spend on other stuff. But you can turn it off, and what that does is basically poisons you. And so you'll constantly take damage, as you can see in the top left there. But every time you defeat an enemy, you'll get some of that health back. So. It kind of depends on the stage whether that's a big issue or not. As long as you're constantly defeating enemies, you'll usually have decent health, and you will never... Let me just let her health fully drain here. You will never die just because of the cell decay. You'll always be left with a single pixel. You will die in one hit at that point, but uh, there is some safety. Also, Ray has more he hearts placed in her levels, so like every secret area like the one we just saw will have a full heal heart and a few random areas that you might take a little bit of time, like those little hover helicopter dealies uh, that you latch onto. They'll usually have an extra heart or two to kind of compensate. So while it's definitely quite possible to die, uh, if you're used to playing as her and you're aggressive in your playstyle, she's pretty survivable and will, in my experience, she just pretty much tears through everything. Because the thing is, her melee attack is a guaranteed burst, so you will never drop the burst chain unless you die or you use a non-melee attack, which, since her claw attacks do double damage compared to the shots, uh, I, I never use them. You've, in fact, probably not seen me shoot yet this level. So her regular shot is this kind of slow-moving large shot, um, and she can also switch to use a regular, more customizable shot, uh, just like the other characters. And, uh, like I said, I don't tend to use that, but it is a possibility. She also has an interesting, uh, second skill that she can use instead of the claw attack, which I'll demonstrate on the boss here. Oh, so you get a full heal before every boss. Certain bosses that have long gaps between you can attack them can be a bit dangerous, because, of course, you'll be suffering from that health drain. But any boss you can constantly hit... Um, you can get your health back pretty easily, Han, as you can see right now. And so I'm not how sure how much damage her big laser does, but I'll try to finish the boss with the laser, just to be showy. Yeah, her other skill... Well, let's go for a little bit below half health. This probably won't be enough. Aw, oh, dang it. Okay. So for this skill, you have to charge it up. And you have to wait for that uh, blue puff to come out of her. And yeah, it, it drains your health as well, <laughs> which, considering you're playing as Ray, is not the best situation to be in. I don't find her laser very useful. It's satisfying visually, but it just does not deal the kind of damage you would expect it to. And generally, just mashing people with your claws is better. And if you're willing to take some damage, you can just kind of sit in their hitbox for certain bosses, if it's necessary. And you'll kind of overheal. You'll heal over the damage you take if you hit them fast enough. Assuming they don't hit you with other attacks as well. But yeah, all in all, she's a very effective, risky character. I would say Ikoro is probably actually harder to play as than her, because Ikoro is half health. But, um... She just gets so much score. She's got the best scores in my game, by far. And that's pretty much all there is special to her. You can turn off the Cell Decay, which I mentioned to, um... Also, you drain health when you do damage, and also you get extra health when you defeat an enemy, so that helps you a lot in bosses, because otherwise you would just get drained down to one health with no real recourse in almost any boss fight. Also, her claws, um... I'm showing you her default claw damage, by the way, which um, I could do a lot more damage if I used my double shots, or my double damage, but I just wanted to show you... Or the attack multiplier, that's what it's called. But I just wanted to show you how powerful. That is That is the stock 100 customization point skill that I used to defeat that boss. It just does that much damage. And yeah, and her claw attacks are affected by attack multiplier, so you can deal up to triple the damage I was dealing there. Which, <laughs> she's just really great. 
and she's kind of the one character that's fully melee, which this game kind of overemphasizes getting in short range combat, so she just feels... <laughs> she kind of feels too easy, but the uh, the cell decay kind of compensates for it. But yeah, that's right. Have fun.